and welcome Pocket Watch here and it's about time for another episode of Fata Morgana. So yeah, seems like you do not Jacopo as well. <laughs> so we gonna argue on this one. Ar uh, agree on this one. So yeah, I think we are just going to the next episode. But before this, uh, I want to tell you that this is the first actually episode I'm recording after the memberships uh, came to be. So I just want to announce that for, for if you haven't seen the video, that is an option uh, now if you would like to support me uh, and you're enjoying my videos, then you can also have the ability to uh, watch them earlier if you, if you uh, wish to support me. So yeah. Uh, that's the thing, and let's just go to the episode, I guess. Also, there will be some special vote pools at some point. After, like, some more of, like, members will come to be, because at, like, pools doesn't make sense if there's, like, only three people, so... But yeah. Maybe you, maybe you you will be able to get a special vote for the next series or whatever. Literally at what? This is something that actually happened. Another mate. She heard a sound in the middle of the night. A sound like dripping water. At first she thought it was raining. So she looked through the window and there wasn't a cloud in the sky to cover the stars. As maybe it's the faucet? She thought. So she stepped out of her room and into the corridor. Compared to her room, it was, unearth uh, it was unearthly chilly. The maid regretted not bringing something to cover herself with. But that didn't make any sense. Normally, the temperature wasn't that much colder outside her room. Her night clothes had always been more than enough for a trip to the lavatory. Wondering what the reason could be, she went her way towards the sound. But then she realized something. There were no faucets in the direction she was going. Rather, she was heading towards the hall. Okay, weird. The mansion where she served had many halls. But this one was off in the far corner of the house. At least use hall of them all. The least used hall of them all. It had a high roof, but not a lot of space, so it was difficult to make a good use of. It also had a very heavy air to it, a very curious room. It was a kind of place you might assign someone to clean as a part of their hazing. Anyway. When the maid realized the sound was coming from that particular hall, Hal, she, as you might expect, let out an uncomfortable sigh. We have like little background soundtrack here, but it's like very subtle. You probably can't even hear it. But there were, might be a leak, and having noticed, she couldn't simply ignore it, you know? So, as much as she hesitated, she pushed open the door to the hall. There was nobody there, and it didn't look like anything was leaking either. There were no puddles of water stains anywhere to be found, but she still could hear the sound. Drip, drip, getting louder and louder. Is that like blood or something? Is someone dead? Slowly stepping forward into the room, looking left and right, then left and... Uh, then left again, she searched for the source of the sound, coming to a stop in the center of the hall. She stood there, still quiet, and then she spot on the nape of her neck. A little yelp, she reached back to feel her neck, but it wasn't wet. Okay. If that would be the blood, then her neck would be, would be wet. Also, I probably should... Do this, yeah. I thought like I wouldn't have to, but yeah, that's better. Confused, she slowly worried, tilted her head backwards. Okay, and there hung a bloody skeleton from the ceiling. 
okay, that's weird. Why? You have, like, bloody skeleton in... What? How did it get there? Oh, that was a dream. Oh, that was a story. Okay, never mind. <laughs> The soundtrack in the store is just amazing. Also, a lot of you... Like... You don't only... Don't like Jacopo. If you call him a clown. <laughs> That's really amazing. Oh my god, you scream like a little girl. Ma Maria, you... You little... Oh my god, are you men or children? This is my house, and I would rather you didn't talk about it like that. Okay. Whose words were those again? Shut your mouth. How do you know about that? Why are you even dropping? Another thing. I do not care for the sort of stupid fantastical tales you and so love to pass around. Because they scare you? Uh, you never be able to handle anything scary, Jacopo. Duh. Oh, don't glare at me like that. You can't destroy my size. Wow. <laughs> wow, I like Maria. <laughs> it's rare to have actually like maid that's like openly just like mocking uh the employer basically right it's really rare like it just shows how strong personality maria has yeah and he can't say anything <laughs> so do you come here to solve purpose of telling me that cheap tribe I think tough after the fuck you just makes after the fuck just makes you look twice as much of the fools was like I swear like until the end of this like door I will learn the lyrics for this song this is so good I'm almost trying to sing this <laughs> well I mean I did make up a good half of it the mate really did hear a sound in the middle of the night and came from the back hall of this very mansion did you know they say it used to be a chapel oh i mean i guess like they have like this like windows right again i have no interest in the woman's little ghost stories is that so are you sure you're not just scared Maria. well that said, the rumors aren't completely unfounded. This is a pretty old mansion and there's a lot of work done on it. Kinda feels it's barely holding itself together. Like a big old uh, quilt with pieces from different time periods. The back hall is one of the oldest patches. There's huge windows on the far end and supposedly there used to be stained glass in it. It was the deprecation of the Archangel, they say. Yeah, we saw it. Such a shame. I wonder when it was broken. If it was still there, I bet it would be worth a fortune. I find it hard to believe. First of all, why would anyone put a chapel inside a mansion? Yeah, got a point, I guess. I mean, if that was at first chapel, then it's other way around, Jacopo. Someone put the mansion inside the chapel. If it used to be chapel before, uh, first, and then it became a mansion. And now when they mentioned chapel, because we saw this window, like in general, the stained windows, right? In the mansion. But I never thought about that that's actually not a mansion thing, but it's more like a chapel thing. And that made me start thinking if the scene that we saw in the mirror, uh, in the, uh, in the, not mirror, in the window with the Michael and Giselle, I believe, that character was named. We never saw this character, but whatever. 
uh, maybe that was like previous era like even p before the Rhodes maybe that's like maybe Michael is like the predecessor of like white haired girl actually maybe that was uh, in the times of when the mansion wasn't mentioned but it was a chapel now I think about this but they mentioned chapel here just random thought Now, how about you do some actual work instead of distracting yourself with all of that nonsense? I do work, but uh, the other mates can be a bit uh, nasty, you know? Dealing with other women is like walking on glass. Am I to blame for that? What do I say you were? Don't give me that look. Yeah, you, you are the reason, Jacopo, the way you treat your wife. They're just not fond of me. Simple as that. Nothing you can do about it. Is, is that so? What? Jacopo, you fucking sound like you understand what the fuck is going on, but you are still like acting like an asshole. I saw like in the comment uh, under the previous episodes that you compared his character to Tsundere but I literally I don't know I just cannot see him as Tsundere I, I just cannot this is just like beyond me he's, he's just like an, he's just an asshole <laughs> oh yeah I was talking to madame and she was telling me he used to be quite a gentleman perhaps actually in love by then yeah that's what i was wondering you sure don't like it like it so it is it to miss i guess you are not entirely made out of steel just like when you were younger you're still do not speak of that i guess he thinks of like his old mistakes or something like i was young and stupid some something like this the past is not worth remembering. It's unnecessary. So to you, the past exists just to be cast aside. I... Nah, it's not important. You don't want to talk to about it. I won't talk about it. But your wife... Never mind. I will leave you be. I will have to get back to work soon, or I will be staring down the head made uh, Arctic smile. Alright. If the fancy strikes me, I'll drop uh, by and we can trade more ghost stories. Maria. Huh? What? No ghost stories? No, not that. I have not forgotten those days. And now suddenly he's opening up. Like, what kind? What? What are you? But no, it's uh, I. Awkward. I'll be of then. All right. If the fancy strikes you, drop by and we can trade something other than ghost stories. Okay. Kinda creepy. As my prediction of like Jacopo cheating on his wife is going to actually be true. As her like best friend Maria going to cheat. What did I tell you? I consider it goodbye. This is a cool CG. Okay, this one is a cool one. A lot of his like artwork that you've posted on Discord are cool. Some of them are terrifying where he looks evil as fuck. But usually he looks hot. So I can see why white haired girl like actually loved him and fall for him. Like probably like in that era, like this guy is just like the, the perfect looking. I would say, right? Fancy hat. 
fancy uh, coat. Like semi long hair, a bit curly. God damn it. I can't escape anything. He's escaping his past, his demons. And there she is. And she's just embodiment of like beauty. She's beautiful. God damn it. Every single version of her. Wow. Also, these purple flowers also are the theme for her, I think, right? Not only roses, but also these flowers. I think I saw them in the first door in the Rhodes family. I don't know if like they're like actually related to her somehow, but I remember like having purple flowers in the first door. So I kind of connect this to her too. Yeah, they have grown to be so beautiful. Such a wonderful fragrance. The scent of roses is so calming. I wonder why is that? It would cause any trouble if I picked one. Oh, there she is! You said that you will not appear in the story. And here you are. You lied to us in the previous episodes. Hello there! Out for a minute stroll, are you? Quite a peculiar hobby. Madame? Uh, I cannot spend as much time as I would like outside during the day, so I end up coming out at night. This is interesting that she quoted Madame. Not just said Madame. Like everyone else. This is interesting. Like, she doesn't, like recognize her as uh, as the mistress of the house so she's like madame that's interesting i apologize if i startled you no not at all there's a chilling captivating beauty at the sight of the snow white form standing there in the moonlight garden i would hardly uh what are you doing out so late I saw a figure through the window. On the side chance it might be a burglar. I thought it might res it's my responsibility to ensure they did not break in. Yeah, and you came to burglar without like any means to defend yourself. Good idea. It was uh, also the middle of the night when the grocer servant broke into the safe. News uh, of that spread quite far. I'm sure you would have heard about it. Oh, but Gemash was imprisoned some time ago. Dear me, I cannot seem to get my head out of the past. Uh, doing that to give me white rose or something? Yes, I was thinking about giving it to my husband. Well, I expected he was a little fondless for such feminine tastes. The scent of the flowers has a truly calming effect. He might find it relaxing when he needs the reprieve from his work. Oh, is that so? Verily kind-hearted. Yeah, like in every road. Speaking of white roses, the rose he meant to give you was the same shade of white. Huh. Oh? He? But when you touched it, it turned a deep shade of red. Wait, we're talking about first door, right? That happened in the first door, didn't it? She's timeless. Okay, first of all, mate is timeless, white-haired girl, I have no idea. Either she's timeless, either she's reincarnating, either she's a ghost. I don't know. She have no memory she have no memory of her previous lives either way. So either she's like 
reincarnation or something that doesn't have memory or it's another like in line of the family and the mate is just like tame timeless ghost thing remembers all of her like previous like heirs basically that's some kind of connection like this like what the hell how does that work why do we seeing this I have a feeling like we need to get like the reader perspective is false here kind of like in Umineko so I would expect to mate not existing at all and she's like the narration created by the minds of the people that are like in the game so there's like no mate here and it's only white haired girl that's talking to herself basically maybe something like that yeah that was the first door hmm when you touched it yeah there was but a single white rose in the garden so he was unable to give it to you as he wished in this place he had a decorative rose fashioned for you so that's why his name was mel right yeah mel made the the accessory for her because there was no more white roses in the garden wow this is connecting to the first door what exactly are you referring to? Yeah, I would be confused as hell as well. Oh dear, you do not remember. I'm going to assume you have forgotten what happened to the rose accessory as well. He was unable to give you that to you either. But not time, because you rejected the gift. I'm not criticizing you for that decision, of course. But you had perfectly good reason for not accepting it. Heartbroken. From having lost you, he buried the rose in the in this garden. Oh. Over the years, the roses in the garden withered away, and in their place grew a thick and slightly nest of weeds. Many, many years later, that accessory was dug up by the beast. True! Holy shit, this is connecting so well. I got chills. Wow. I did not expect that kind of backstory in this door. And curiously enough, it had not speak, it had not speck of rust on it. A beast. You do not remember him either? The foreign man who fought his interaction with you almost regained his humanity. I I'm sorry. I have no idea what you speak of. The only gift I have ever received from a man is my funky's wheel. And furthermore, I have only lived in this man in the mansion for a year. While this garden was not thriving as it is now, it was certainly not in ruin when I arrived. Because I had taken care of it, yes. But for whatever reason, my hands alone, I was unable to make it into anything quite as splendid, splendid as it is now. Once you arrived and began to work on it, however, just look around. You have restored to its former glory. To be magnificent of the flax and head family time. What are you? And what is the white haired girl? Like this mystery is so good. They so like teasing us. They almost want to tell us what the fuck is happening. They almost want to tell us. <laughs> I promise I'm not trying you for anything now that i think about it it makes sense you would not remember but you are still you you are different than before different though not in the sense you are a wholly distinct person tell me is your name something something again my name is Yes, but you should already know that. 
Uh, what? Again? More proof that you are indeed you. This is so weird. <laughs> I love it. Did you know that your current name is pronounced the same as the name of the person you are waiting for? Interesting. Huh. What are you talking about? I have met you many times and I know of your past or events that transpired long, long ago. I am telling you the truth. I first came to this mansion just a year ago. Until then, I had never left my country or even set, a fo uh, set foot out of my own house. We did not have any servants either. So, where then are you saying we met? This mansion, of course. But I'm telling the truth. It was a year ago, shortly after my parents fell ill, I received an offer for my marriage. I knew something had to be done, I knew it, and so I... So I... I'm telling the truth. If that is what you remember, then I do not doubt it. But I also suspect I know why you seem so frustrated. There are moments when your memory seems hazy. What is happening? When it seems like important details have fallen through the cracks. Yeah, we are missing a lot of details. Important details here. You didn't, you needn't fret. One day eventually you shall remember all. One day. I'm starting to wonder if the main character, the protagonist, the master of this mansion is actually the white haired girl. Or maybe one of like her next in line. Like a Michael that we saw in the, in the window. I'm starting to, because... Every time there's a maid that is talking to this white-haired girl and telling her that Oh, you do not remember the past And now in this road, like in this door She spoke of the first and the second door Asking her if she remembers stuff This is exactly what is happening with the protagonist right now We met with the maid in the beginning And she's like Asking us if we remember who we are and she's showing us the past, basically. Showing the first door, second door, third door, asking us if we remember. It's exactly the same what's happening in each door with the white-haired girl. So I would assume that our current situation of the protagonist is like one of like the last door, basically. It's like the present. So we have the past doors and now we have the door of the present time. And this present time is what is happening currently with the mate and the protagonist. She's showing the past, asking if he slash she remembers who they are. So because of this conversation, I started to think that if master of this house is white haired girl at this point, the protagonist of the story. Hmm. Also, she's waiting for someone whose name is pronounced the same as her name. This is very interesting. Not sure what to make out of this. I actually cannot make anything out of this, I guess. It must be some kind of name that can be both male and female, I think. Right? If it's pronounced the same? Huh. Anyway, what the hell is this? A white rose. Did she leave this here? Jacopo, please don't be an asshole for once. A flower. What does she think she's doing? Is she trying to aggravate me? The, that garden. Damn, that rose garden is the whole problem. God damn it. Flowers serve no purpose but to deceive. The garden is a sign of weakness. 
It has no place. It has no place in this house. I hate him. <laughs> Approximately a week had passed since then. The white-haired girl was, as usual, spending her time in her room, ready, reading, staying inside the house. Then, Maria barged in. Madam? Madam? Oh my, you're out of breath, what happened? What happened? It's that we have a big problem. The, the garden, the rose garden. Oh my fucking god, the jackpot just like... Oh my god, just like destroying the garden. Is he like hired some people to like build something in the garden or some bullshit like that? Mm -hmm. Why? The garden. All the roses you put so much love and care into growing are being chopped down. We'll lose them if we don't hurry. What the actual... I hate you. Upon hearing the news, the white-haired girl dashed from her room and towards the garden, with Maria following close behind. When she arrived, she saw a dozen or so sweetly ragged men at work, Jacob was shouting orders. The men clearly had no concept of how much a single flower was worth. No concern whatsoever for their beauty. I like if something bad happens to Jacopo, I don't think I can like feel bad for him. <laughs> I have a feeling like this would be the like the mo the, the least emotional road of them all. <laughs> or at least the door, not road. I call them roads, okay. Whatever. I just like want this guy to be like over. <laughs> just like, please, just go away. But they mercilessly, f uh, thoughtlessly hacked away at the shrubs like they were not but weeds. Each flower they tore from the earth extinguished. Another of the many lives the white haired girl had put in the so much time and effort into tending for. Jacopo, what are you? Oh, hello, Maria. I didn't expect you would come here with me, with her. Why would you do... Why? It goes without saying. This house has no need for a garden. Them flowers have no place here. Might as well do something uh, worthwhile with the soil. I mean, I should reload. It'd be a better use of the space and certainly a great deal easier on the eyes. I could even get my hands on some general wheels. The same wheels being used on the revolutionary transcontinental railroad. 10 or 20 years down the line, they would be worth a fortune. Jacopo. You know how much this garden meant to me, don't you? Oh, she's angry. She's angry, look at her eyes. Her face. It's it's actually different CG. I didn't realize. I felt like it's the usual C like uh, sprite for her looking down, but she looks actually angry. They use different eyes for this and mouth. Wow. Attention to details. They honestly have no place here. Flowers have a calming effect on people. They give you peace. Are they not? They are not by any means worthless. So you're saying that White Rose was your passive aggressive way to telling me to calm down? <laughs> not at all, I simply thought. At the end of the day, you're just using them for your own purposes. To trick and deceive. To you, the Rose Garden was nothing but... Jacopo! Gone too far, this isn't right. Huh, you gone too far? This is my mansion. What I do with my property is my business. If that rose arc out of the picture, we'll have much a better view. There won't be anything blocking the sun any longer. Weren't you supposed to be sensitive to sunlight? 
spending too much time out here and you were liable to fall ill. Get back inside now. You too, Mario. Such a... Just, just go away. Just like... Just, just, just be done. Please. Someone poison him. The poor thing. But she did not say a word. Was surely thinking. A retreat that terminated to rob me of my sanctuary. The words whirled around her head. Unable to make the final journey to her lips. She stood there looking down at her feet as her husband marched off and listened to the screams of the roses being ripped. After being torn down by Jacopo, the garden reverted to a state of the ruined desolation. A shame. After all the work that went into restoring it to the beauty it had under the flax and herd family. And as Jacopo had said, in its place went scraps of metal, train wheels, Prototype models, carbon roads. Those items may have had value for him, but I certainly do not think it was worth robbing his wife of a place that made her feel comfortable just so he could store them here. Yep, I agree. Besides, I was rather fond of those uh, of the Rose Garden myself. The Rosa seems to evoke a sense of nostalgia in me. I felt as though. Somewhere far beyond the edge of my memories, I had seen another garden of roses. Modest though, it may have been. But I cannot remember when it was. Does that come to a surprise to you? Yeah, you seem to remember everything so far. I'm quite sure there are periods of mentioned history of which I'm not aware. Maybe that's why we are skipping 100 years each time. But in any case, Jacopo caused many people great pain in order to repurpose the garden for himself. And he continues to walk all over his wife. Whenever he tries to, whenever she tries to do something kind for him, he would brush her off saying, that's not your place. He paid no mind whatsoever to the looks of the de uh, dejection that rose to her that rose to her face each time he rejected her. I was beginning to wonder if anything she had said about the man he had been a year earlier was actually true. And if it was true, could a person really go through such a drastic change of heart in such a short time? What do you think, Master? Probably can. Some kind of like trauma and stuff, but still, we still don't know circumstances. So I still feel like it's not worth it, whatever happens to him. Like, he still will be the asshole. Like, I don't think, like, whatever happened to him justifies him. Unless it's really good, like... Some kind of, like, some, some kind of, like, good point. Like, very good point, because... He's literally just, like, destroying his wife for life, basically, at this point. I don't know, like, she had, like, some kind of, like, Stockholm Syndrome. That she's like keeping like with him, like what is happening? I no, I have spoken enough about me already. It seems to be talking a lot. I seem to be talking a lot of myself this time. This is hardly appropriate behavior for a mate. Now let us turn to our tale.